probably if if you really don't understand even what you're entering into you might end up going into it and later realize that you have to go back and start all over again so it's starting from your, your job hunt right from school before you even come into the career itself and i'm sure sammy will be building up on the career aspect more all right so the second segment talks about you so remember the first as aspect spoke about what could be causing your challenges now the second segment is going to talk about preparing for the job hunt itself before you start looking for a job there are a few things you should do that will help increase your chances of landing the position that you really want and one of those things is learning how to market your skills and talents effectively to do this you first have to be able to list your skills and talents and interests in fact sometimes people even mix them they don't even know what the skills or talents are or how to differentiate between these two and it's something that we'll discuss this way you can evaluate each one carefully and be better able to describe them accurately on your applications and resumes or curriculum vita this will also help you narrow down your search when you begin looking for positions to apply for as well as make the task for applying much easier it is a good idea to tailor your cv to the job you are applying for and so be prepared to update it frequently most employers expect to receive a well written cv or resume or at the very least an overview of your experience and other qualifications as well as a cover letter or letter of intent after creating your cheat sheet and preparing your resume or cv it is time to start the search and it's always good to use the search engines on the internet during this phase of your job hunt or let me say the internet at the end of my submission, I will indicate a few some free company career sites and job boards you can go to when searching for jobs. These sites provide a full list of or full set of resources for people looking for a job, which makes the process a little less painful. Of course, there are many other sites that you can choose from, but what I will be sharing at the comment section uh, is just a few of the very secured ones I know. And notice what out for comments when applying for jobs online. Also, you should note that companies do not always advertise job openings. If you have the desire to work for a company that doesn't have any current position available, the best thing you can do is submit an application or resume for them to keep on their file. It is also a good idea to check back with them frequently and update your information regularly. I quite remember about six years ago, just a year after AGA's retrenchment, we received an application and resume for future consideration. And after reviewing the CV, even though this is a CV of a recent graduate, it was tailored so much that it aroused the interest of the manager, and he asked for the applicants to be considered for future routes. When applying for several job openings, always remember to keep track of your progress by jotting down the names of the companies where you have applied to. This may not seem necessary, but it will help you know when it is time to check back with them and when to update your resume. I'll also share with you at the comment section a short checklist that you can use to help keep your job hunt on track. The next area of discussion is identifying your skills. As indicated earlier, when applying for a job, it is important that you take time to identify your strengths and weaknesses so that you can market yourself effectively. Being able to articulate your abilities and expertise can put you way ahead of your competition. Many people have had a hard time talking about their skills and even in a harder putting them down paper because they feel they might be seen to be bragging, which is something most of us are taught to do so from a very young age. However, when it comes to getting a job, you can't be shy or afraid of discussing your skills and abilities. In fact, it is important that you convey to your potential employer exactly what tasks you are capable of and what you are, you are made of. Help to tell yourself. It's the best way to stand out from other applicants and get the job that you really want. Also, on the other hand, it's just important not to sell yourself short. Come across as arrogant or appear descending. You have to write your CVs or resumes in a way that highlights your skills and talents. Have an appropriate answer prepared in advance for tough questions before entering the interview. And questions around your abilities and skills, such as what your strengths are, what are your weaknesses and what separates you from other applicants? So I'll pause here. If there are any questions or contributions that anyone else would want to give, probably I can take them now.
All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Smith. And um, I'm very glad at where you ended. Any, any question for Smith before I bring on board Samuel? <laughs> 